Hey, how's it going, Old School RuneScape, and welcome back to another weekly recap. Kicking things off with Dead Man Season 5 now being live. And speaking of Dead Man, players logging into this season for the first time will now have 6 hour protection enabled, meaning you won't be able to fight anybody and you'll have 2 times the usual Dead Man XP rate. In addition, all quests have now been unlocked and Ancients has become available for players to enjoy. Moving on, we have this week's updates, and more quality of life as we saw improvements made to the jewelry box's interface, visual distinctions between the chaotic death spawn of the Necrarch, and Pirate Jackie the Fruit is now the diary master for all Karamja diaries. Also, some of you may have noticed we made a secret April Fool's update to congratulate one defense peers across the game on getting two defense. Of course, they didn't actually get two defense, but it did make for some good laughs. Furthermore, we've posted a new dev blog on Slayer and Dungeons stating we'd like to bring back the variety and diversity when training Slayer by moving some creatures out of Neve's dungeon. We'll also be increasing the number of spawns, and there's a lot to it, so you'll definitely want to check out this dev blog if you're interested. Moving on to this week's Q&A, where we discuss the Dragon Plate Body, Crack the Clue, and the Troll Quest. And lastly, we have this week's Player Spotlight feature. Starting with Tirith Winds, who made this little pixel guy in Rune, which was then remastered by Legend Arts into a slightly higher detailed image. Up next, Sid the Sage posted this image captioned, Hey Jad, I'm back for another one. And lastly, r slash place took our subreddit by storm, urging many old school players to come together and claim as much territory as possible. So that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next week.